1 Samuel chapter 16. Adonai said to Shemuel, How much longer are you going to go on grieving with Sha for Shaul, now that I have rejected him as king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and set out. I will send you to Yishai, the Biet Lachni, because I have chosen myself a king from among his sons. Shemuel said, How can I go? If Shaul hears of it, he will have me killed. Adonai said, Take a few malka with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to Adonai. Summon Yishai to the sacrifice. I will tell you what to do, and you are to anoint for me the person I point out to you. Shemuel did what Adonai said and arrived at Biet Lachem. The leaders of the city came trembling to meet him and asked, Are you coming in peace? He answered, In peace. I have come to sacrifice to Adonai. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. He consecrated Yishai and his sons and summoned them to the sacrifice. When they had come, he looked at Eliab and said, This has to be Adonai's anointed one here before him. But Adonai said to Shemuel, Don't pay attention to how he looks or how tall he is, because I have rejected him. Adonai doesn't see the way humans see. Humans look at the outward appearance, but Adonai looks at the heart. Then Yishai called Abinadav and presented him to Shemuel. But he said, Adonai hasn't chosen this one either. Yishai presented Shema. Again, Shemuel said, Adonai hasn't chosen this one either. Yishai presented seven of his sons to Shemuel. But Shemuel told Yishai, Adonai has not chosen these. Are all your sons here? Shemuel asked Yishai. He replied, There is still the youngest. He's out there tending the sheep. Shemuel said to Yishai, Send and bring him back, because we won't sit down to eat until he gets here. He sent and brought him in. With ruddy cheeks, red hair, and bright eyes, he was a good-looking fellow. Adonai said, Stand up and anoint him. He's the one. Shemuel took the horn of oil and anointed him there in his brother's presence. From that day on, the spirit of Adonai fell upon David with power. So Shemuel set out and went to Ramah. Now the spirit of Adonai had left Shaul. Instead, an evil spirit from Adonai would suddenly come over him. Shaul's servant said to him, Do you notice that there's an evil spirit from God that suddenly comes over you? Let our Lord now command your servants who are here with you to look for a man who knows how to play the lyre. Then, if the evil spirit from God comes over you, you will play, and it will do you good. Shaul said to his servants, Find me a man who can play well, and bring him to me. One of the young men answered, Here, I've seen one of the sons of Yishai, the Biet Lachmi, who knows how to play. He's a brave soldier. He can fight. He chooses his words carefully, and he's pleasant looking. Besides, Adonai is with him. So Shaul sent messengers to Yishai, saying, Send me David, your son, who is out with the sheep. Yishai took a donkey, loaded it with bread, a skin of wine, and a kid, and sent them with David his son to Shaul. David came to Shaul and presented himself to him. Shaul took a great liking to him and made him his armor bearer. Shaul sent a message to Yishai, Please let David stay in my service, because I am pleased with him. So it was that whenever the evil spirit from God came over Shaul, David would take the lyre and play it, with the result that Shaul would find relief and feel better as the evil spirit left him.